creating a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to come over here to the right to my view cube and I'm going to be looking at the top plane and I'm going to select the XZ plane here in my browser and I'm going to create a sketch and so with my origin selected here what I want to do is come and grab a line I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to set this dimension to be say about 132 uh, millimeters so 5.197 inches and I want to lay down a sort of framework for the rest of the part so I'm going to create a sort of box, bounding box around uh, the part and I'm going to make this vertical and this is really just going to be a set of construction lines so I can come over here and select construction and I'm going to set out some dimensions here this is going to be 52 millimeters. This one is going to be um, 132, uh, which we already have. And I want to create um, a second dimension. So I'm going to um, create a, another line and I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to set a dimension on this second line and I want this one to be 45, 45 millimeters or 1.772 inches. And with that created, what we want to do is we're going to just make um, one more. So I'm going to make a line here and this is going to be a construction line. It's going to come from here out and it's going to be 29. So from this point to here, it's going to be 29 millimeters. And it's also going to, there's going to be another line that comes down. This one is going to be 31 uh, millimeters. And so we have a sort of framework here that we can use uh, to build our part. So the next thing we want to do is I'm just going to set this to be construction and I'm going to come over here to create and I'm going to select spline and you can also select it from right here and with it selected you can select the origin point and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of um, drag this up and around And we want to kind of touch this point and we're going to come down like this and get to about here. And when you get to this point, what you want to do is place this back on the origin and hit OK. And now we can sort of edit our curve a little bit. So what we want to do is um, drag this back a little bit, uh, make it a little bit more uniform. And we want to make this tangent And we're also going to uh, set a line that's going to be tangent to this curve. And same thing over here. So we're going to set a line like this. We're going to make the curve tangent. And that way um, we have some um, consistency here. 
So you may need to drag this out. It depends on the size of the user's face. And we're, we're just gonna use sort of a ballpark. And um, with this in place, we're, we're gonna make a couple more edits here to where the nose area is. And you may need to, to drag these around and kind of play with it a little bit. And so um, we can leave it like this for now. We can always change it. And so from this point, what we want to do is we want to mirror our whole arc. So I'm going to click on that object and I'm going to click on this line. And that's going to mirror everything right to the other side for us. Okay, so that's our sketch. Now that we've created this, um, what we want to do is we want to look at this from the front now. Now that we're looking at the front of our part, we're going to come over here to the XZ plane, which is the plane that we created this with. And we're going to come to construct and then offset plane. And I'm going to drag this up. And I want this to be about 50 millimeters. I'm going to type in 50 millimeters. And that equates to 1.969 inches. So I'm going to click on um, this new plane and I'm going to start a sketch on it. And I want to create a line that's in line with the origin. And let me set a dimension on this line here. I want this to be around 82 millimeters. And so with that created, um, let me just set a constraint here, horizontal. I can make this construction as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to um, create our top shape. And what that's going to look like is um, it's going to be Uh, basically an ovular piece. So what you want to do is you want to come to ellipse and click on the center of that and click here and you can sort of drag this out and this is the sort of shape that you create and always sort of change it if you need to. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna leave that there and I'm going to set a dimension here, a quick dimension, um, just to sort of locate this piece. And with that created, um, what we can do is finish our sketch and now I'm gonna look at this from the side again and we want to create yet another sketch. I'm going to create a sketch here and I'm going to create a three-point arc and what I want to do is select the point at the end and project it and I want to select this point and project it as well. And now I can connect these, um, which is what we need to do. I can also drag a line down and I can make this tangent. And if you need to bring it down a little bit, you can do that. Um, I could see that our second sketch is sort of very high. Um, so you can always edit your feature and you can kind of drag it down a little bit if you need to. You can always sort of play around with um, with your sketches. And I'm going to make this construction and I want to finish this off by adding another arc. Um, this time it's going to be a spline so I'm going to click on this point and I'm going to sort of uh, drag this into position here. Try that again. And you can kind of shape it as you go. You can 
select the points and, and make them coincident to each other when necessary. And you can also create a line between these two points, which is construction. That way you can set uh, this and this to be tangent to each other as well. And kind of form this out a little bit. And that is our initial shape. So I can already see that I need to edit this sketch um, to change this dimension a little bit. Um, it's, it's always important to kind of play around, like I said, with your dimensions and, and your sketches. Um, it's oftentimes you need to drag things around um, like so. And so let's look at it again from the side. Um, that's about what we want it to be. So I'm, I'm going to convert the second sketch here to be um, an arc, a uh, spline instead. And kind of drag that around and you can also make a line that um, that it can be tangent to. Okay, so that's our sort of initial shape here. Now what we want to do is create one more plane. So I'm going to look at the YZ plane. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, it's perpendicular here to the bottom, the base of our part. And what I'm going to do is, with it selected, come to Construction. I'm going to select Offset Plane. And we're going to offset it to an object, and that object is going to be this point right here. So now it's offset. And what we want to do is click on it, create a sketch. And I want to project uh, basically this circle, or the ellipse, sorry. Click on it, project it. Same thing with these. We want to project these as well. And click on it and project them. And we can make these lines um, construction. They don't have to be solid. And they should not be solid. And so with that, what we can do is create our profile. Now I can do this with a three-point arc. Um, hopefully I can get away with just using a three-point arc. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. I'm, I'm going to try to do it with uh, two three-point arcs. And this is sort of the thinking that goes on uh, creating a part like this. Uh, you want to create it in a simple way. So I'm going to make these tangent to each other. I'm also going to um, turn off the construction. These are not construction lines. And so let me just redo that second radius. And these are going to be tangent to each other. Um, with that said, I want to add a line here at the bottom so that way I can make these tangent. And I could leave that around there with a dotted line here from the, from the origin. I'm going to mirror these two arcs with the mirror line here. And with that created, we're just going to see what this profile looks like. So I'm going to finish the sketch. We can continue by creating our loft. So I'm going to come to create and I'm going to come down to loft. I'm going to select the first and second profile. And for the rails, I'm going to select all four of these rails. And with them selected, I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to create our entire shape here. So I can kind of rotate this around and show you what it looks like. And what we want to do from here is we want to do a shell operation here on the back. And we can make this um, about 
0.1 of an inch, something like that. Or we can even go um, a little bit less thick, even uh, to about 0.06. And you can sort of see what that looks like on the inside. And so it's nice and large uh, to fit, you know, a one size fits all type thing. Um, but what we want to do from here is we want to add the filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back and I'm going to look at the front of my part again. And if I select the circle here, the um, ellipse, what I can do is I can start a sketch on this face and I can project um, this sketch and I can extrude downward from here. And I can come at an angle if I'd like, uh, kind of just for looks. And I can make it um, look something like this. And that cut is um, going to allow me to put some holes make it a little bit easier. So center point slot. Let's kind of drag this out. And from the origin, you can kind of make this uh, vertical with the origin. And it's going to make it a, a lot easier to orient. You can make it something like that. And we can also set a dimension that's going to come from the uh, center of the slot down to this point. And I'm going to make this 1.4, maybe even a little bit higher, 1.45. And what we can do also is we can um, make a rectangular pattern of this. Uh, and what we're going to do now is add the filter. So I'm going to click on this face, start a sketch, and I'm going to make this an ellipse, um, very much like before. And it's going to be on the center. And I'm going to drag this out uh, necessary distance. I can actually rem remove it and, and move this upward a little bit. Um, I'm going to kind of spread this out um, to about here. And if you need to, you can also just make it a little bit bigger. Now what we're doing here is we're making the, um, the actual material, the substrate material that's going to um, fit inside and act as the filter. And um, this is going to be um, likely a 3M material uh, that whatever they specify um, that can filter out uh, the particles. So I'm going to um, finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude this. And this is going to be a new body. And this is going to be, um, let's say, about 0.1 of an inch thick. It's going to be a new bot or a new component. And I can change the color of this uh, if necessary. I can make it um, maybe 20% opacity. What we need to do now is constrain our filter in so that it doesn't fall out. So I'm going to click on the filter face and I'm going to create a sketch on that face. Now with that sketch created, I'm going to come down and for expediency, I can just project the filter um, curve. And I can make that a construction line, which I can do an offset of. So I can basically just kind of offset this out. And it does need to be offset by some amount. 
So I'm going to leave that to be 0.093 out. And what I can do from here is just extrude this upward. I'm going to select both profiles. And this is going to be extruded up, except it's going to be a new body. And the new body is going to come up at an angle. And we're going to see what that looks like here. So it's going to have to flare out. Um, I'm going to just hit OK for now because I want to look at this in a section view. And so I can do a couple edits here. Basically, um, I can just sort of um, look at the piece that I created, and if I need to edit the sketch, I can do that. I'm going to select uh, this outer profile. And I'm going to edit this a little bit more. Uh, now that I can see it in cross section, it's a little easier to see what's going on. So I'm going to bring it up to about this point. And I know I need to make it a little bit larger so that I can glue it against the wall. So I'm going to just make that small edit. Just going to kind of drag this out a little bit more. Now it's a little bit too large. Have to draw back a little bit. And again, uh, it's going to be a 3D printed piece, so it's okay if it's a little bit off, um, especially the fact that we're going to be gluing it, so um, it really just has to sit in place. So um, there's a little bit of interference, but that's actually good because uh, when we push it in, it's going to push against the walls and there's going to be glue on these edges, so it's going to hold itself in. So what I want to do now is I want to shell this part. I'm going to click on this face and shell the part uh, about maybe 48,000, something like that. And with that done, what I can do is I can sort of get out of my section view, click on the face, start a sketch. And I can what I can try to do here is project, once I hide some of these sketches, I want to project the other part that I made, the sketches of the other part I made. So I can just kind of click P on the keyboard and click on these edges. And once I select all of them, I can uh, project all of them onto the face. And at the point that they're projected, um, that's going to be the same spot where the holes are in the filter holder. And the good thing about that is um, now you have holes in, in both of your uh, parts. So let's just create an extruded cut. And this is going to only cut through this one object here. And for objects to cut, you just have to select the body that you want to work with. So we're just going to select that third body. And as you can see, um, we have our filter between the two parts. And you can see that there are holes on the inside, holes on the outside. And that filter, the, the red section, which I can actually change the opacity of, is the, is the part that's going to take those particulates and filter them out. What we're going to do from here is cut our part from the side profile. So I'm going to create a sketch and I'm just going to make a spline. 
and our spline is going to run along our part here. And what we're doing is allowing for some change here for our, our face to, to fit into the mask. So it's going to be something like this. And I'm going to close off this shape here. And I'm going to create a cut from the side. It's going to be a two-sided cut. And there is our mask. And if I so choose to, I can make some edits here. And we can end off with a couple of fillets here on the edge. And we're going to make this pretty much a, as large as, as we can um, without failing the part. I'm going to make this about 0.03. And as long as the assembly can solve, um, we're going to leave it at that.